Hello and welcome to the video. Today we are actually going to do some sewing. Well, we're going to do some cutting at least. I still don't have my sewing machine so it's going to be hand sewing. And I thought I might try, I have this simplicity undergarments pattern and I've already made the corset, like that's why I got this pattern. I wanted to make the corset. But it's also got a chemise pattern in it which I thought would be fun to give it a go. So I have a whole lot of this, it's a cotton lawn um, and we're going to try and make this. So I now have a front piece and a back piece and they look very similar and the only way I can tell them apart is the front has a neck slit in it. So now it's time to attach all these side panels to the other side panels. So more sewing, let's go do that. I'm now at the point where I fell down two of the seams and I'm not sure that I've filled them in the right direction because I read the instructions like five times trying to figure out which way they said and I thought I had it but it doesn't make sense because then the way it's felled is towards the outside if that makes sense I'll try to do a close-up which I don't know that it's correct and I need to <laughs> reread this. I am dyslexic, I will say that, so I do find it quite hard to read and follow instructions. But I thought I had it. I tried really hard. And it's not, it's not like I can fix it now because um, to fell a seam you trim down one side of it and fold over the other. So if I unstitched it, I wouldn't be able to then flip it in the other direction. I mean, it's not the worst. I can still make it work with the seams the way they are, but it just doesn't seem right. Yeah, so this says, make a flat felled seam toward side panel, which is what I did. But then, hang on, let me... <laughs> so this is the inside of the garment. So I then, on this side, which is the uh, front panel, <laughs> I trimmed down this panel's seam allowance 
and folded this seam over the top to make the felled seam. But then this is the wrong side of the garment so that if you were to turn it inside out the fold over of this seam is now <laughs> you really can't see white on white but the seam is now on the outside showing side of the garment so it doesn't seem right because then from there you would need to on the inside connect the sleeve gusset which I would I don't know I'm like do I do the other side the other way and see what happens am I reading this correctly I don't know I have a sleeve. Well, I have part of a sleeve. It's not finished yet, but goes on. <laughs> and obviously have to connect it to everything else. And I need to put the sleeve band on, but yay. Welcome to summer in Australia. I just thought I'd quickly run out and walk Flynn while the rain had stopped. <laughs> and um, yeah, it hadn't stopped. It's still going. Well, now it's stopped. Now that I'm home, it's stopped, of course. So I think it's gonna be a dry off, find a cozy corner and a cup of tea and get back to some hand sewing. sleeves one of them yeah it's not this one this one is much better than this one this is my first attempt this is my second and the edging turned out a lot better than this one where it kind of missed it a bit and I could have gone back and fixed it but I just thought I'll keep going because if I get it perfect the first time round, what am I going to work on to fix next time round? That, that's my excuse anyway. The next step is to attach them to the bodice. And then I think... Then there's another facing bit that goes under the sleeves. I'm not sure I'll have to read the instructions again, but... Sleeves to bodice.
So, not gonna lie, I have kind of been procrastinating on this a bit. Haven't done a lot recently except trying to get this finished. Um, that's the band and the lace attachment to that. But I am currently, as you can see, it's different to my normal background. I'm currently in like a quarantine isolation uh, period before I have to do some work next week. So I thought four days I'm enforced sitting around. What better time to do some hand sewing? So I brought it with me. I think I'm gonna go sit out here on my little balcony and get some of it done. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it up completely while I'm here because all I've got to do is attach this to the main part and hem it. And I forgot to bring the buttons so I can't do the final like front closure thing but that's final touches. I've now done all my gathering stitches, two rows around the entire top of this and I have measured the shoulder band and it's 95 centimeters. So now I'm going to gather this all down to approximately 95 centimeters and then pin it to this and start some more sewing. Well, that nearly drove me crazy, but everything is now gathered and pinned. It's probably not very even, but at this point, I don't care because I had to redo this like 10 times <laughs> and regather some of it when some of it all slipped out because I wasn't paying attention. So, we are going to stitch along here <sighs> and that will be half attached and then flip it over and attach the rest. I have now completed my shoulder band attachment all the way around. Uh, it is, it's not perfect and it would have been a lot easier if I was able to iron the rest of it down but I tried to pull out the hotel iron that they give me and the ironing board kind of felt oily so I didn't want to risk it so we're just going with it. Um, now I just need to flip it over this bit and sew it down on the inside to cover all my seams and then that part is finished. My collar shoulder piece is all attached. So now the final thing I have to do is hem the bottom. I'm getting close. Oh, except for these, I, as I said, I didn't bring any buttons, so I've just pinned it. But other than that, I have successfully completed my first fully hand sewn garment. And it took me forever, but I was actually very grateful to have it while I was stuck in this room in quarantine. So I'm very happy with this. It's very comfy. The one thing I don't like still is as I mentioned this underarm facing thing I feel like it just adds bulk to the whole sleeve and I don't see why it needed to be there I think you could have just done fell another felled seam there and it would have been great like if it had been further up where there's more wear and tear then I guess I could understand it but it's like down here <laughs> so meh. but overall very happy and as a you know shift to go under things but I also think if you put a belt on it this could be a cute little dress 
<laughs> provided you wore something underneath it because it is quite see-through but yay Well, I'm back home now in my absolute mess of a sewing room and I have some buttons to sew on for the finishing touches on this shift. Let's go do these. <laughs> 